Hi everybody, my name is Jeremy Siskin. I'm the author of Playing Solo Jazz Piano, as well as the Jazz Piano Fundamental Series. The books just keep coming. It's like a total of, I don't know, 800 pages. It's too much. It's too much already. Um, but today I want to talk with you about creating an ECM or moody kind of version, you know, of a slowish song. It's summer, it's sticky. We need these kind of slow versions. So ECM, if you're not familiar, this is this European record label that's known for recording more kind of straight eighth music. Um, straight eighth music that isn't Latin. I had a college professor who joked that ECM was maybe synonymous with a Euro bossa. <laughs> Euro bossa being like a bossa that doesn't quite have the same dance as a bossa nova or a samba. And so it's become really associate, associated with this style of kind of slowly pulsing music in time, maybe a little bit stretchy in time. Maybe I should show you instead of telling you. Um, we're gonna talk about the tune Summertime. So here's one possible ECM kind of moody version. So, uh, of modern jazz is a lot of this kind of rhythmic language where we're in time, we're not quite swinging, we're not playing a samba or Afro-Cuban or sal you know, salsa or anything, and it's more straight in. So where would we get started? I've got this little sheet here, um, and it starts with what I would call a simple ECM vibe. And the important thing here is that we're emphasizing offbeats. Okay, and this is one thing that has it really in common with a, um, a bossa nova, is that in bossa nova we're really feeling the offbeats. Um, so this is a really good place to start. So notice what is happening here is that I've got the root note on the downbeat and then I'm pedaling the fifth, right? I'm just repeating the fifth to define the offbeats. I always imagine this is kind of like keeping a, a beach ball or something up in the air with all those offbeats. And if you want to, you could also like stretch out the phrase more so that we're only doing the offbeats or sorry, we're only playing the root note on the downbeat every two measures. That kind of keeps the momentum going longer. I didn't write this on the sheet, but we could also like conversely, and yeah, I can make myself bigger here. Um, we could conversely play that, we could ground ourselves to the root and the strong beat every two beats. And sometimes that's nice to put in a little note on beat three. This seems like a good time to just talk about, you might be wondering like, how is this different than a bossa nova? So a couple things. The first thing is that bossa nova generally has a strong bass on one and three. So here, we're mostly only putting the bass on one, right? If I'm playing Summertime, like in a bossa nova style, it'd be weird, but could do it. Your 
like having that underlying in some way is definitely an important part of the bossa nova style and i'd say i'm also using more pedal as i do this ecm style um like the there's some relationship to new age music and it can get a little bit more washy i don't want to if i'm playing bossa nova i don't want it to be I'm exaggerating a little bit, but with this more ECM style, it can... It can be really highly pedaled. <laughs> Which if you've ever taken a class with me, you know I rarely say that. <laughs> Not a fan of the pedal in general. Okay, so if you're starting with this simple ECM vibe with just the one and the five, you know, in summertime, we then move to G minor, right? From D minor to G minor, from the one to the four, whatever key you're in. Um, so two ways that we could do it, I'm sure there's more than two. One way is we could just go to the root and the fifth of G minor. So. But, you know, we kind of like in this ECM style, this feeling that everything's still kind of up in the air, that it's not grounded so much. So another thing to do would be to move each note kind of to the closest relative in G minor. So we had D and A, so we could keep that D as the fifth in G minor, and we could move the A to a B flat, the third in G minor. And that kind of keeps things more just on the straight line instead of so grounded. So let's hear how they both sound. So if I move to the root, If I don't ground it on the root, if I do the second version that I have on the screen here. So it gives it maybe a little bit more of a modal, mysterious feel. Up to you. Now, it can get a little bit exhausting to play every offbeat. So you could remove some notes from that instead of bull ba da 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 bo ba ba. It could be bo ba ba ga bo ba ba ga bo ba ba. be as flexible as that with you uh, as you want. Here's another version. Right, so the underlying thing is still all those offbeats, but you could really vary this. Right, that way it doesn't have to be so busy with the accompaniment. All the time. All right, and then we talked about having the root, and then I, I used the word pedal the fifth, which may or may not be an accurate word, but that just means repeated a lot. But you could get more interesting, more varied. put this on the sheet, but you could also you know, do more of a chord thing. Listen to how that sounds. Notice I'm shaping a crescendo decrescendo. same thing twice. We could, of course, move the bass lower as well. And that's going to open up more room in the bass so you could see the variation.
creating these really nice stretchy long phrases. Um, let me show you one more variation. We're down, down here. From this lesson is this underlying kind of feeling ga, 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 ga. and then the ways that you can vary it that you can dress it up that you might remove some notes and make it nice and washy just before i hang up this call um let's pick one more tune for me to play in this style so you can see that it's not just summertime i could play any uh, any tune in this style how about um let's do Let's do something in a major key, the Days of Wine and Roses. Nice song in a major key. Hear how the time stretches a little bit? It doesn't have to be metronomic. like that if you dug that uh, the book playing solo the jazz piano has a lot of this kind of thing in there so head over to jamiesiskin.com pick it up uh, if you watch this far why don't you try to use the initials e c and m in your comments you can use whatever um whatever words beginning with those abbreviations uh that you can think of thanks for watching everybody see you soon